Did you know that a dog or a gazelle in Africa is better at handling stress than you probably are, than we are as humans? Their reason is they've got one technique that they use that we've lost our connection with and we don't do it automatically and therefore we carry the consequences. We carry stress, fear, trauma, anxiety in our bodies and it keeps affecting us every day. So if you apply this one technique that I'm going to share with you today, you the animals use, you also can start to benefit from it and not carry this sort of feeling, these emotions with you all the time, even when you're not in danger. My name's Cassandra Punita James, and this is my next typhoon surfing vlog from you, for you. Filmed here in Provence, where I am for the next two months, running private healing, the deep retreats. And these vlogs are to help you just surf all of life's waves, make it easier, more enjoyable, more joyous, more loving, more successful, whatever you're doing in spite of what may be happening around you. So it's really fascinating. As humans' brains developed, the neocortex, the newer part of our brain, became more predominant. And the more instinctual qualities became something that we could override. And what happened then was we don't, we forgot, we lost touch, we don't always practice techniques that animals still use because they're more in touch with these and yet ones that we would benefit from. So the end result is if we go through a situation of stress or fear or anxiety that we had suffer with a great shock, then we can, it gets stuck in the cells of our bodies, we keep on carrying it. And the next situation and most of our days might actually be stress-free, nothing much happening that is endangering us. And yet our body and our mind can be on alert, looking, waiting for problems, reacting as though that past situation is still with us. So with animals, when they get in a situation like this, what you and you probably you might have seen it with a dog if they've gone through a lightning storm or something like fireworks have been on at the end of it when it's over they will shake they will shake incredibly sometimes for minutes sometimes for hours until all that stress has let go out of their body but we generally censor this in ourselves. So if a stressful situation happens at work, we're not going to want to show this this to happen, to show to other people. We wouldn't want it to happen, you know, if we have a relationship conflict or suddenly we have to move house. And as a consequence, we sort of lock down, put these emotions away, say we'll deal with that later. But we never do. They stay in our body and they keep repeating. And the trick, though, is act like a gazelle. Act like your dog when, if, or somebody that you know's dog when it gets scared and shake. You might shake for a minute. You might shake for longer, for five minutes, ten. In um, Bali, there's a man called Ratu Bakus who gets people to come to his ashram to shake for six or eight hours, which is a lot of shaking. Um, Osho, whose ashram I was in for years learning meditation and how to be in the heart, he devised meditations called Kundalini and um, dynamic meditations. And these were physical meditations, including a lot of shaking, especially in the Kundalini, because then this freed up old tension from our body. So whatever your technique whether you go and do a med active meditation, whether you go and shake like Ratu ba uh, Ratu people, whether you just stop and you go into a bathroom, you go into a private room, private space, you're out of doors in a park, and you just shake. And you do it totally, like start from the pelvis and then shake your legs and shake your arms and let your whole body shake. Being careful of any part that might be in pain, so don't go... And if your body's not feeling super fit, don't go over the top about it, but let it be thorough. 
let it be relaxed and let it be deep and with doing this you can help let go some of the old tensions and fears now we are humans these are there are tensions fears traumas that we've been through in the past and they have got deeply locked in the cells of our bodies and we can be still seeing our present moment through those so that we jump in fright if there is a loud noise so we have trouble trusting people and really letting go in relationships so we have trouble just feeling joy and uh, maybe we have trouble holding you know opening ourselves up to being as amazing as we think we would could be we know we can be and offering all we want to to the world in these circumstances this level depth of holding in the cells is harder to clear with just shaking and this is where I help people with sessions but more often it's in the private retreats where people come and work with me for a couple of days to really shift things at this deep level but today and in future why don't you give the shaking a go for stresses and tensions that come up now even if they're one where because we're human we remember the past and we think forward to the future so consequently we can make ourselves get stressed about something that's not even happening so when this comes up give yourself a good shake and remember the technique I think, don't know if I've shown you and if not there is a link below to go and see it this is a qigong exercise for decluttering the mind and emotions and if I've shown it to you before and you haven't done it recently do do it again and if you haven't seen it try it it takes 30 seconds it's amazing because it just reboots you refreshes you brings you back to this moment and everything is about being in this moment here now is where we feel joy where we feel love where we feel openness where we just fully loving life and it's so much easier if we're not feeling stress fear and worry so come back to here shake like blazes if there is some if you're feeling tension and just enjoy the moment today have a wonderful week or so join me on for my Facebook lives on Facebook if you're visiting there in the next few weeks I'll be popping in there regularly to put some talks up and chat with you you can ask questions and in the meantime have a great week ciao for now